all the rest of it. Now, you can see those videos up on Infowars.com. Drudge picked all that up while Fox and CNN and MSNBC would not show any of it at first and would say this crazy old man's in there robbing people basically and stealing, you know, taxpayer money, not paying uh, range fees, which they arbitrarily threw on there and which they had their corrupt federal courts rule. Well, what do you do when the courts become corrupt? At a certain point, the juries, the grand juries, and the people have to nullify them, and that's what happened. So they were going to march onto the property yesterday morning, and the sheriff backed off, and the BLM backed off, and they said, okay. They said, we are going to pull out of here and not round up anymore your 800 head of cattle. But the 300 they had in pens, they weren't going to release. He gave them an ultimatum of one hour and said, we're coming through your line. And folks, the police on loudspeakers said, we're going to shoot you, and they still walked past them. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding, making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply 
supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. Thomas Jefferson. It's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Imagine it's 1775 and the king has grabbed 90% of a colony. Let's call it Nevada. That's what it is. This happened in 2014 and says farmers and ranchers that have used this for over 100 years, you can't anymore. Well, they dumped tea in Boston Harbor. Uh, they went around and tarred and feathered, quote, government officials. And the Redcoats marched out and fired the shot heard around the world at Lexington and Concord. And then the rest of the wars followed. And famously, there at Lexington, up on the hill, as the Redcoats marched up, saying, turn in your guns, the local militia that was the police of the day, basically, the security of the day, most of them war veterans, most of them former Redcoats themselves, they said, you know, famously, men don't fire first, but if they fire and want a war to start, let it begin here today. And that actually happened at this event, when I sent David Knight and Josh Owens, two of our great reporters, they're both reporters, but Josh ran camera, out there, I mean, I knew it was important. I knew that they were fighting to bring attention to land rights. I had no idea that one of the most historical events in my lifetime would have happened because it's not just about these, this ranch or these cattle. It's about the feds, and we have the loudspeaker audio and video. It's up on Infowars.com. you got to see this for yourself. From 300 yards away, bullhorning, we will shoot you. We will kill you if you cross that line. And the people marched slowly up, saying, you go ahead and do that, men, women, and children, and walked over the fences. And as they got up to the emplacements, just like at the end of V for Vendetta, when they're marching on the parliament, and the military has been ordered to shoot them, and they stand down, that literally happened. And then... The BLM runs up and says, okay, stop here and we'll let the cattle out. Don't go all the way down to the pens and let them go. And, and you know, we won't shoot you. And the, Bundy was reasonable and said, all right, we'll wait for you to do that. And you got 30 minutes to clear out. This is all on video. And this is big paramilitary, former military guys, you can all tell, who've been in Fallujah, you name it. You just look at these guys. There's a bunch of military vets ready to attack a bunch of other military vets. I saw some of the militias there. Some are ragtag, you know, uh, country folks. Others, uh, from what I've seen, I've just learned to be able to identify it, were probably obviously infiltrators. That's going to happen. But most of them, I could tell, were special forces operators. And a lot of them look like they were currently, they look like Navy SEALs, people that were protecting Bundy and, and stuff when Bundy was giving the speech yesterday. And I could look at their faces and the pride and everything else. They were ready to go to war, folks. It was not fake. I I've never seen anything like it. It literally brought tears to my eyes. I was at home watching it on Infowars.com with the video feed. DrudgeReport.com had it up there at the top. We had a half million viewers when they cut the data feeds, and almost all the data feeds went down. There were a bunch of streams out there. Imagine a half million viewers on there at one time. And I was watching it myself and couldn't pull myself away from it. Couldn't pull myself away. David Knight was marching at the head with the people. And the first folks that showed up was just a few dozen because they you know, you know, drove in cars and, and then the cowboys were behind them. But it was over a 1,000 people total. They blocked the highway. Uh, Bundy got up there and gave orders. said, all right, that's it. Blocked the highway. Uh, the sheriff's not going to act. This is criminal. We're marching in there. We're getting the cattle back. And they said, go ahead and shoot us. And you've got paramilitary as they're marching up in high-def video at InfoWars.com from 300 yards away. Guys, punch up my computer. I'll show TV viewers that are watching on PrisonPlanet.tv. Everybody can watch it, InfoWars.com forward slash show. You've got to see this video. Yeah, punch up this computer over here if you can. 
It's an Infowars.com uh, story. Uh, feds back down uh, in new Bundy standoff agree to release cattle. That's the story up on Infowars.com uh, on the front page. And you can see when they first started massing the cowboys uh, and all of the people. You go to Featured News, and it's about six stories down in Featured News. The headline is, Feds Back Down in New Bundy Standoff, Agree to Release Cattle. Now, this was so incredibly epic to see this unfold. They had armored vehicles. They had helicopters. They had over 200 armed BLM. If you scroll down, you can see the armored vehicles. Now, we're going to come back from break and play the six-minute video that is the top story on Infowars.com. There are videos I shot from home yesterday on my iPhone covering all this that have 200,000 views apiece just from yesterday. They'll get over a million. You think I'd be happy about that? I'm not. That's just my commentary. David Knight's reporting and, and, and what Josh Owens put together last night in their hotel room after all this happened from high def is some of the most powerful video you will ever see in your life. And the mainstream media, CNN, MSNBC, would not show this. Fox had a brave cameraman that marched up with David Knight, and they threatened to kill him. And he kept marching with his TV camera up to them with us. Then the reporter, two miles away up on a hill with the Fox TV truck, and, we, and David Knight's flying back in tonight. We're going to have this for you tomorrow. David Knight saw it on Fox that night, said, oh, the BLM just decided to go. They'd already got all the cows. They had a stand down. They marched over them while they said they were going to kill the men, women, and children. We're going to shoot you. We're going to kill you on loudspeakers. That audio is coming up and the videos on Infowars.com. And imagine by the time it hit Fox News, oh, the BLM just left. They're all happy. They didn't want people to get heat exhaustion out there. This is so incredible. The top story red linked on Infowars.com is historic. Feds forced to surrender to American citizens. And you watch the six-minute video. It is mind-blowing video. And we've got to get it out to everyone we know. I'm going to retweet it at Real Alex Jones during the break that's coming up. And I'm going to come back for radio listeners and play the audio. And, uh, again, David Knight gets back tonight. Uh, and by tomorrow, he's going to be hosting the show. He's done such a great job, and he wants to do it. We're just going to give him and, and Josh Owens a victory lap. They're going to be hosting the show tomorrow. I'm going to be up here working, uh, getting administrative stuff done. But, I mean, I'm just going to have him host the show. I mean, imagine my reporters marching up to, and a lot of other media that was there was scared and wouldn't do it. They stayed up on the hill and, you know, did their live streams and all the rest of it. Our guys marched right up to the police saying, the, the federal paramilitary, we're going to shoot you. We're going to kill you on loudspeakers. And they marched right up to him and then went over the fence. It was simply out of the movie V for Vendetta. With, with real cowboys, desert cowboys, toughest cowboys, hardest working cowboys. It's the toughest life for, for a rancher is in the desert. And these guys were not playing games. And it was simply incredible. And the feds backed down. A bunch of guys with their shaved heads and their paramilitary goatees and their Fallujah tattoos and the rest of it. And, and again, there were a lot of veterans on the side of the people, including folks that I know special forces when I see them, um, you know, the real deal. There were a lot of them and a lot of them in plain clothes carrying guns and they were ready. They said, you want Lexington? You want Concord? Let's do it. Get it on. Pull the trigger, feds. They told them, let's go and marched right up with their guns down. You go ahead and shoot us first. Those are patriots, ranchers, women, children, U.S. military, active duty, you name it, marching up. When you want to shoot us, go ahead, tough guys. You go ahead and kill us, and it starts now. This is off the chart history. And by the grace of God and people's prayers, a lot of folks, I can see the comments on InfoWars with our live stream. It was just, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying. And God helps those that help themselves. People took action. This was incredible. This was so historic. And it shatters the mainstream media. It shatters the government. I'll explain why it's so big. But you know why it's big. 
Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet, the highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease? It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to big pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And